going on everyone that we're injured guy here just a quick video to kind of help settle a discussion I saw online about the air dam on the front of the f-150 um, is back and forth that it hurts fuel economy oh it doesn't hurt it at all yada yada pulls and if you take it off and just all that usual forum bickering so I figured well hell I'm the perfect candidate I drive the same speed the same way every day for work relatively the same weather so I was like all right I got this fancy trip meter and everything I'll be able to compare the two so here's what we found out now this is the first tank and uh, as you can see there's 12 hours on it drive time and idle time because I do warm the truck up before I leave for work and when I leave work and 360 miles roughly I'm about 17 miles from the gas station so I'll be fueling up then and I'll post the updated mileage just because I drive a long ways for work I fill up here so I'd never go I mean I'm below a quarter tank now so and I'm averaging 20.2 miles a gallon which is about average for me so now really the only perk that could come from it is obviously visually that dam is relatively massive and it looks like something that'd be on a something but downside maybe it does help it probably does help deflect some debris from the underside but if you have skid plates and stuff I mean oh well all right so that's the end number and I guess we're going to uh reset and see how it is it's only what another 15 miles to work or so so I'll take that off tonight, air dam, and we'll see. We'll do some science for you. I'll be your guinea pig. There's eight, ten millimeters on the bottom, right at the front. Easy peasy. Make sure you give it a big tap so you don't get all that dirt in your face when you're crawling underneath. And this clip's a little funky, but this comes back. If you can get your hand there. And bada bing bada boom. Pops out. There's only three of those. And then off. And bada bing bada boom. Does look a little wonky because you got those three tabs that clipped on. But fuck it. I'll let you know. We'll see if you actually lose fuel economy or not. There we have it. The numbers have spoken. So pretty much I'll have to look again, but I'm pretty sure it was about the same. So minus I drove a little further this time, but with that being said, I think we have myth busted on whether or not removing the front air dam improves or declines your fuel economy. I didn't notice any difference except for I felt a little bit more of a pull going down the road. So kind of like the wind hitting the underside more than when the dam was there. Most of you guys are probably gonna lift your trucks anyway and get big old beefy tires on there. So you're not gonna notice the difference anyway. So in my opinion, just do it for the looks. It doesn't, it doesn't change the truck, it doesn't bother it. It doesn't bother me, so. Do with that what you will if you enjoyed this be sure to drop a like a comment subscribe hit that bell button so you can see all the other stupid stuff that i do and you have yourself a good day